Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Pontoon Life Forever, where I share tips and product information. Go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons. Today I'm going to share 7 tips to ask before renting a slip for your boat. Purchasing a boat is very exciting, but unless you're super rich and own your own marina, you're going to need somewhere to store it. That means you're going to need to rent a slip at a marina. So what do you need to consider when renting a slip? Here are my go-to questions. First one on my list, what are the slip rates? You don't want to rent a slip that's going to go over your budget and you're going to spend a lot every month for it. Um, if the lake has several marinas on it, I totally suggest that you go to each marina, check it out, talk to other renters, find out what their quotes are, and consider them all. Um, seriously, on my lake, I had like uh, seven seven marinas i hit them all and um, i found one that i was comfortable with the next one security unlock facilities dark lit parking lots um you know try to avoid all that if possible um, take a visit at night and scout the location make sure everything's safe walk the docks if possible um, and, you know, just observe it for, you know, a couple of minutes, you know, see, come come at different times at night, check it out. Safety is the most important thing. You want to leave your vessel at a really safe place and um, make sure everything's fine. The next thing I look for is water traffic. Whenever I consider a new marina, the first thing I look at is water traffic. High traffic can be dangerous and also nerve wracking. It also increases the amount of time departing the marina. So take a look concentrate make sure this is very comfortable for you the next thing i look for is marina staff this is a major one for me i like to make sure that everyone in the front office is aware and knowledgeable they practice safety enforce Thanks. cleansiness and provide good security um i also want to make sure that when i'm not around they can totally handle the situation grab a pair of spare keys and open my boat do whatever they need to do move it or whatever but to me the marina staff is very, very important. I have a great relationship with my manager and his staff, and um, I'm very comfortable there. Next one, marina location. Ideally, the marina should be close to your home. If you are driving over an hour to the marina, you'll probably be doing less boating. Uh, when I first got my first boat, my boat location was about an hour away from my house. And geez, that was long, but I wanted to do it. Um, and now I'm 25 minutes away and um, it's the best thing I did, um, you know. It's just, uh, by the time you drive over there, you do all that stuff, you're like two and a half hours into before you even get on, you know, on the water. So think about it. Closer the better and um, for safety reasons as well. The next one, can you dock easily? Oh man, when I first bought my first boat many years ago, my slip was in the worst part of the marina and I had so much trouble trying to get in and out. I requested another slip location due to my level of experience. Of course, they charged me more for it, but it was well worth it for me. As I practiced throughout the years, I got better and better at it. And now I could totally get into any slip I feel. However, make sure it's nice and easy for you. And um, especially if you have a pontoon, you know, it's, it's bigger. You know, my first boat was a, a Bayliner 185, which was much smaller um so that was easy easy you know in and out but um i still had trouble with it so with a pontoon make sure you can get in and out easy and safely and nice and slow and the next one guys is on-site mechanic um this is really really important um to have someone who is trusted and has a um a shop on site on the marina um, that who you know you can make an appointment and you know do some service closes your boat opens your boat the end of the year um, this is really good to have on site um, I can't tell you how many times you know I've come to situations where I'm like oh gosh what the heck is going on I don't you know I don't know what that sound or clinker means guy comes over checks it out tells you exactly what it could cost or you know where you can fix it right there and then um, that to me is is well worth it but you should consider the, having an on-site mechanic at your marina well guys this was my hit list when considering a slip rental i hope this was very very helpful um, and it gave you an idea of renting a slip um, so most importantly 
happy boating and be safe. This is Pete from Pontoon Life Forever.